collaboration, new movement, new opportunities. It's really thrilling. It's so cool, it takes dance to a whole new level. Pushing me out into a new environment, which is great. This collaboration and partnership between G-Dance and Bella Cymru is a perfect match, a positive one for change. We're based here in Newport at the Riverfront and we're delighted to have this fantastic project and working with G-Dance and Mark Brew. It's a logical conclusion of everything we've been doing for the past 20 years. In fact, we're working with individual dancers and uh, choreographing on them and producing original work. Um, and G-Dance is just uh, a logical conclusion to that and working with international dancers now. I mean, we've got dancers from the United States and from all over the place working with us. So it's this brilliant, really exciting project. <laughs> I'm uh, classically trained. Uh, I haven't had any training to work with uh, disabled dancers or anything, so the best thing is um, learning these skills and being able to work with dancers that work in a very, very different way to the way I work. To see dance differently, um, to not look at it as, oh, it has to be this way done, this way, you know, but it, it can be done a multitude of ways and each way is good. And some ways, uh, when I look at these dances, especially Alice, how she uses her chair as a part of her body and moves around, it's better, <laughs> you know, it's like, whoa, that's more interesting and more exciting. It's a great opportunity to work with um well, obviously, people who we we don't usually work. So I hope we can make something interesting and different, interacting more with them with the wheelchair. That's my aim. Unique challenges, but they're unique challenges working with any choreographer, to be honest, and they know Mark, so uh, I think they'll cope with it really well. I came from that ballet world and then acquired my disability and then had to explore my world as a dancer with a disability. For me personally, a connection of both those two worlds coming together to then be working together in an integrated way, yeah, it does really excite me the most, I think. And I'm working with the outreach group, so four schools, a theatre group, community group. They're really up for it and they're really committed and really excited to be working on the project and in the space as well, so it's a really inspiring space. So, you know, hopefully everybody will get together and really bind together to, to get this choreography down. So my role is to work alongside um, the emerging choreographers, um, especially Laura, to mentor her on the choreographic process, particularly choreographing it for community groups and outreach groups, and obviously working alongside Mark, filtering down the overall artistic vision and then how that's used and implemented with the community choreography. It had always been a dream of mine to do site-specific work in a national trust property, so that was really the thing that really first attracted me to the project. But obviously the inclusive nature of the project, um, the diverse range of dancers that we're working with, from the professionals to school children to the community, the intergenerational group. I just think that's, I love intergenerational choreography, so I think that's fantastic to see everyone dancing. 
these are my GCSE girls. Um, we don't really do site specific, but this has definitely kind of inspired us to, and it's given them a completely different aspect to add to their choreography when they do it in GCSE dance. So it's a really good experience for them. They haven't done it, but perfect weather to do it in as well. One, They've just taken it on completely fantastically, no problems, just taken it as it is and just got so much from it. It's just been so worthwhile, just choreographically and socially and everything just has completely opened up their minds and mine. It's inspired me to do quite a few different site-specific and integrated events in school. It's a nice change from working in the theatre, you know, to be working in beautiful grounds and, and gardens like this, and also to work with such a, a good and established production team as well. I work in opera and ballet and commercial theatre. Um, so doing something like this where I'm combining all my normal practice with working outdoors is fantastic, but you know, these opportunities rarely come up, which is why it's such a joy to work on. And just having the audience wander around and enjoy the, the environment that they're in, you know, it's, it's, it's doing it in somewhere like this that makes it so special. To see it come together is going to be really great, and seeing it all in one massive, beautiful space as well. There's a lot of strength uh, and diversity and, uh, and possibilities with the company and everyone's very open and very generous. The new collaboration is, part, is, is the thing. I mean, it's, it's an opportunity to blend, to learn from different cultures. It's a new challenge. It's a really, really important thing to do. The audience, um, are really participating in it and they're feeling involved in these different worlds that we're creating and I really want it to be an experience, uh, a journey of experiences for the audiences.